just a few slides. Um, I thought if my slides had too much, can you, I'm getting feedback on the uh, microphone here. If anyone, I'll stand away from the microphone. If anyone, uh, uh, so I have just small amounts of English written on the slides, so you don't have to read very much. My background is um, I, uh, I, I live in San Francisco, in Silicon Valley, um, but I'm British, um, which is uh, uh, an interesting experience, living, um, living in the uh, Silicon Valley with uh, all the software companies. So it's a crazy place. Um, I've been involved in the uh, uh, content management industry for 20 years. Um, I uh, owned a software company uh, that provided software to the uh, oil industry. Um, and I'm happy to report that um, there are many, many, many thousands of people who are using uh, some of the software that uh, I've been involved with over the years. So today, um, my, when I give these presentations, um, I, I try to uh, not try and uh, promote our products. Um, I really want to spend most of my time just talking over um, three case studies, um, which are three companies or organizations that I have been involved with. I think that's more interesting um, for you. But I will cover um, a little bit of background um, first. So, what I'm going to talk about are um, some of the challenges of um, working with organizations in the, that manage complex plants and how, when they move to uh, the, the digital engineering environment, how, what challenges that faces in terms of managing content. In, in my experience, when I work with the oil industry, or the power industry, or the transportation uh, industry, um, when I work with the senior executives in those companies, I try and explain to them some of the, the challenges they have. And this is one slide I use, which is very simple, but I like to get the CEO to understand some of his problems, which sometimes is very difficult, because he thinks financial problems every day. So I, I say to him, I say, in, in your organization, um, you, you have content that exists in three states, very simply. I say, you have content in process, which is a small number of documents and drawings, say 500. These are documents that are being created or being changed at any moment in time. A very dynamic environment with a lot of change, review uh, taking place. A typical um, uh, oil and gas facility or um, um, uh, energy plant, there are typically between 10,000 to 30,000 active documents and drawings which are used by the people in the plant to do their job. So these are standard operating procedures, these are uh, PNIDs. These are, these are the day-to-day -day controlled documents. And on the right-hand side, we have hist the history, just the history of changes and transactions that have taken place. The largest system I've installed is in Texas, Comanche Peak Nuclear Power Station. They have 45 million records uh, stored in a database. 45 million pieces of information related to the history of operating the nuclear plant for 25 years. And I still find it amazing. How can you collect 45 million pieces of information and, and they store every single one, and they, they don't destroy them. So we've gone from 45 million historical records to just a small number of documents and drawings that need to be changed. So to, this, to the CEO of the company, to the executive, he now has a better understanding that the processes, the people, 
the software processes and the, the operational processes are different for each of these situations. The IT systems that you deploy to manage the history are very different from the IT systems you manage the active content being changed. On the left, we're now using cloud-based systems for collaboration with vendors at the left, but the far right, the history, is very secure. It's locked away and stored in, uh, in, in very tight, secure systems.